a winning product can last from three weeks to three months. That's sort of the average lifespan. Usually most products, once you build up enough data, you could probably keep it running profitably for probably three whole months. The most hardest part is collecting that initial data, getting past all the competition, and once you have that massive data, then you could just scale and keep it running for a long, long period of time. Now that saying, it really depends on how early you jumped on a product, how old it is, have it been advertised, but the ideal situation is you find an ad, some top player has posted it, it's been doing well, it's probably been scaled to three, four hundred thousand views and you were one of the first persons to jump on it and actually sort of drive that sort of trend. Then if you are able to drive the trend and make your first hundred sales, then you have collected enough data to probably keep it running and big and make it profitable for the next three months. And the competitor is probably going to do the same but probably make 10x what you're doing. But they're probably making 20, 30, 40k days off it and you'll be getting the scraps, you know, making several thousand dollars a day off that product. That's sort of how you ride the wave with the product. Now, if you found a brand new, fresh, untested winner, then that's a completely different story because that's something that you could probably scale to 10, 20, 30, even probably 50K days just off one product if you're the first person to advertise it. Like the very first person. You didn't use an ad from a year ago. You didn't use a product from two, three years ago. Like you're the very first. No one ever has advertised it at all on Facebook. Then you could hit those big numbers with ease and let it run for a long time. Probably three to five months if you're the only one. Even if competitors jump on, you just have so much data that you can sort of just bully them out. And that will allow you to test it and make money for five months. On top of that, once you saturate the market, you could wait five to six months, come back at a later date and redo it. Use all that data you collected, have a new creative, have a new video and relaunch that product and you probably make sales again just because you have so much purchase data and just because now the audience is getting refreshed, you know, that now that six months later things change and it's just sort of a new Facebook sort of algorithm audience type of situation. And that's why you're able to revive the product and have it run for probably another two to three months. So the lifespan probably gets half each time you plan to relaunch it at a later date. That's sort of how dropshipping works when you have a lot of data and you have your own winning product. You're able to relaunch it every three to six months but the lifespan just keeps on getting shorter and shorter each time you relaunch it. So in recap, it's all about getting that first initial 100 sales. Once you collect that data, once you push through all the competition, especially when you're using the trend writing tactic, you want to get as much sales as possible. And once you get past that 100 sales, you're able to coast for the next two or three months, making consistent profit every single day. But yeah, in general, winning products can last you over three months, and that just shows how three months worth of failing 50 to 70 products can be all made up with one winning product that just lasts you a few months.